made it dangerous. I say my lovers in a dangerous time. If you still that love's a crime. Where is Justin and Alex? That's a good question. They literally dipped me and they left the door unlocked. So anyone can just come in and steal a will. Because that's acceptable, right guys? That's acceptable. To leave the famous kid that is naive, lazy, every name in the goddamn book. Sorry to use the word Lord's name in vain, mom. But, and they leave me. The door unlocked. Someone just comes in, steals me. Gone forever. Brutal. 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 Kind of. <laughs> I say my lovers in a dangerous time. It's, it's ridiculous. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Thank you. You're better than a comedy show. Love your humor. That's probably the best compliment. Actually, I don't want to tell you guys the best compliment because then you're going to say it even though you don't mean it. Stephanie, thank you so freaking much. But yo, being a call the comedian's way better than being called hot. When I was a kid, I liked being called hot better. But now, comedian, bro, that would be sick. Best of both worlds, baby. You know? Just some funny freaking sexy guy like what's up all right i'm getting too excited I'm getting too excited yo what's up what's up what's up And I still your love's a crime. <laughs> what? Yo, Jacques, what do you mean don't get too excited? Yeah. Fired up. Jacques just texted me. We're going to the driving range. Let's go, baby. So maybe I can have a couple little drinks and we can go to the driving range. So everyone say hi to Jacques. Jacques in the house. He's in our live right now. McCarthy! What's up? <clears throat> what up, my boy? What up, my boy? What's in here? Oh. Oh, yeah. We already opened that. There's stuff Jocks the golf pro. Jocks is the golf pro. For now. For now. Right, Alex? For now. Because you know, you know I haven't went hard yet. Come on. Come on. Pro in the making, exactly, Alex. See, Alex knows what's up. Thanks, Jocks. I'm gonna make a TikTok and I'm literally just gonna, it's gonna be just little scenes of me just looking in the screen like this from like different angles. Actually, one like this, one like this, one like this and then one like that, and then it just keeps going. 
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, I don't know, I'm trying to be creative right now. All right, so we got the Xbox. Yo, what the? All right, here we go. I gotta piss soon. Where's the controller? I think brother took the controller. Let's go get it. No, that's just what me and Alex always say. We're like, oh, daddy our little inside joke <laughs> if you know what I mean no I'm just joking yo all right all right where's Justin and Alex you know what if they don't have a key that's their problem they are not getting in Here we go. Quick little lightning question. What is your favorite month? Favorite months? Honestly, like December or, oh yeah, Gavin's staying over tomorrow. Yeah, bro, if you're watching this, you're good to come over, but I'll text you after if not. Or like, June. I was thinking like June, July, May. May is really nice. I'd say like, yeah, August, because there's a lot of events going on in August. But then August is also like the end of the summer, which is kind of sad. I think July. I'm going to say July. We're going to go July. That's my, that's my, that's my answer. That's my answer. Put it on the table. It's July. Gavin has beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, he does. Alrighty. So, let's see what we got here. I got a couple of good songs for yeah. us. And it's still your love's a crime. Oh, thank you. We have the same eyes. Green eyes. I think mine are green. Look at that little vein. Pissing me off. Frick, what's that guy with that vein on his, like, like that villain guy with that big scar on his face? That's going to be me. Friggin' big lightning bolt right down the side of my face. It's going to look sick, though. Just be prepared. My eyes are greener. Catherine, no, they're not. They're not greener. I have the greenest eyes in the world. I'm Green Lantern. See? Harry Potter, that's what it was. Yeah. Harry Potter. Stacy's mom, you always be my number one. Stacy's. I gotta pee. All right, guys. We're gonna go to the washroom quick. Quick washroom break. My favorite month is April. That's a good month, too. It's...
Wait, do we have Easter yet? Did we skip Easter this year? Where was Easter? Where was Easter? Because I plan every single night on Easter to stay up a little later than I'm supposed to. And then I crawl downstairs at the end of the night. And I never see him, but I will. You went to grandma's. Oh yeah. <laughs> when was Christmas? Wait, did we miss my birthday? I don't remember. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. That'd be cool. No, I'm from Canada. Toronto. You guys want to hear a funny story? But it's kind of weird. Literally right when I said weird, someone said so weird. I'm not my lover's. Okay, wait. First, what we got to do is I got to go quickly take a washroom break. So you guys are going to stay here. You guys. break so you guys are gonna stay here you guys can't leave. making sure and then yes music play some music I still don't know where Justin and them went. I think I should text Alex right now quick. And I'm just going to say, come over now. So I'll be right back. All right. One sec. One sec. Okay, so we're back. What we're gonna do is zoom in. And there you go. Will, you must see Stranger Things. No way you said that. Um, I gotta wait till my mom gets home from work. Oh my gosh, Alex. Like, bro. It's always, I gotta wait for my mom. I gotta wait for my mom. Like, bro. Like, take an Uber. Let me pick you up, bro. Just let me pick you up. All right? Frank. I miss you, bro. Frank. Krista, thank you so much. Like, Karen, stop stealing my freaking best friend from me, Karen. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, Karen, like, what the heck? Frank. <sighs> what? He's putting a couch together. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. But we got golf, you know? It's like couch, golf. Couch, golf. Couch, golf. Couch, golf. You know, that, that's where I just try to think, like where, where you put it. And I, I yeah, you know? <clears throat> and I'll see you at 1.30. All right, so I got to go to the washroom. I feel like we had like 10 things planned just now, and I just got lost in like the whole sauce of it all. 
and now I'm just chilling. So, if you guys can just remind me what's going on, I'm gonna go pee, I'm gonna come back, okay? We got golf, I'm talking about golf and stuff. All right, I'll be right back. There you go, show with Mr. Chair. Yeah, you're good. Actually, you know what, just quick. Guys, just for like new joiners and stuff, can everyone right now just act like you're, because there's always going to be a new joiner coming in. Like you can see like Spunky just joined, Abro just joined. So literally, let's pretend that you're just talking to this bear and actually having conversations, like trip people out. Pretend this is Whitey, okay? Let's see if people are like, yo, what the frick? Why does this bear have 1.4 people in there? All right, let me know. Let me know if people trip out. Go and pee. Get out of my chair. <laughs> you look good in red, bro. So you guys were actually talking to him. That's awesome. I wonder if people are like, yo, what the heck? Like, they read my name. They're like, Whitey. It's a bear. But then they see my profile. And they're like, oh, he's actually a real guy. You know, that, that actually ruins it. If it was a picture of a bear, that'd be funny. Dude, what I should have done is change my profile picture to a bear. Actually, no, they just pressed my account. And then stand behind the chair and talk. But then I got to read the comments too. But they're like, yo, how is this bear like talking right now? Oh, someone's behind him. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Mother effing work get in the way of my will time. <laughs> Thank you. What was the story? What was this? Oh, yeah, the story. I don't know if I told you guys this, but back in the day, my mom I was going through the basket and I saw like chocolate and stuff. And I saw this like round looking thing. Oh, there's Justin Alex. Just drive it away. So this round looking thing, right? And I was like, what is this? So I grabbed. What is this? So I grabbed it. Um, and oh, kept it. It was my thing. Stuck it on my wall. Played with it. It ended up being a fake like boob. So it was my fake boob that my mom got from her baby shower and it was my boob. I used to play with it. I used to put it under my bed, hide it from my mom. It would get hairy and stuff, so I would suck because it would get all on the floor. Fuck! Right in the middle of the friggin' story. And so then my mom comes out. She sees that I have that and she's like, why do you have that? And I'm like, I'm like, 
I'm like, mom, like it's mine. And she's like, no, Will, you can't be playing with that. Come on. So like, that was from the baby shower. And I'm like, I'm like, mom. So I was freaking out. So I'm like, mom, please, this is my boob. Like you got boobs. I got no boobs. You just gave me a boob. I want to play with it. You know, let me be bro. What's your problem, mom? So she's freaking out. She's like, no, nah, like you need to get rid of that because it's hairy and gross. And I don't know, like it needs to get out. So I'm pissed at this time. I didn't think much of it. I thought my mom was joking. She would let me wash my boob and just keep it and cuddle with it. But the next morning I wake up and I look under my bed ready to play with my boob. And I look down and there's no boob freaking out. I'm like, where is it? So I jump out of my bed, in my pajamas, look out the door, I sprint outside, I'm running up the stairs, I open the door, I look outside, I see the garbage truck man, and I see my mom putting the garbage with the garbage truck man. So from this day, I have PTSD from looking at that garbage, I, I hate every single garbage truck man. No, I'm kidding. Garbage truck man, my mom messed me up that day. Threw my boob out. I looked at my mom, I said, mom, why would you throw my boob out? And she said, it was gross, honey. You're young. You don't need that stuff. It was from my baby shower. Because I don't know how old I was. I was probably like, 12, like young. I was like, I was like, mom, it was, I could have washed it. I could have washed it under the sink. It wasn't like I was doing anything bad. It was just, it was just. And she was like, no, Will. No. It was time to go. And that was it. My dude was gone from the baby shower. And I don't know how I'm going to find those things again because they were so convenient. Just little pocket boobs. Throw them in your pocket. Stick it on the wall. <laughs> and do whatever you want. So convenient. And I don't know where I'm going to find them. But whatever. So that was the story. I hope everyone heard that well. Um, that was it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's actually hilarious. Yeah, I just threw it out. Because she didn't know I stole it, you know? She didn't know I took it. And then when she realized, she was like, where is it? And then she saw it, like, under my bed and on my wall. She's like, what the heck is my kid doing, right? Like, you're a mom, you're freaking out. So you're like, oh my gosh. So she had to throw it out, you know? It was, and especially when she sees hair, like, she's like, what the heck? And, but I was, in my defense, I'm like, mom, like, I haven't seen boobs in six years. It's been six years, mom, since you gave me your boobs, you know? And now I finally find a boob for me. I'm older, I find my boob, you know? Cause you're supposed to move on. I got my boob in my bed, minding my own business. And no, you're still there, throwing it out. What's wrong with you, mom? You know? It's brutal. How did it look? It was honestly like a boob with no nipple. It was just round and it had no nip. It was like, it was weird. I think it was like for like something like you cup it or like they're like cups or something. Like, I don't know what it was, but I just know it stuck to my wall. It was jiggly. It was my friend. It's my best friend actually. And my mom threw my best friend out. So if you want to hear a story about your mom throwing your best friend out in the garbage. Doesn't that sound crazy? Your mom throwing your best friend out in the garbage? I got a good story for you. I got a good story. <laughs> Beauty. It was brutal. What was his name? I don't, I'd never named him. Called him good old Jiggler. Good old Jiggler. Just all right so that was a story i thought you guys would love that story it was a crazy story it was it was very emotional for me it was really funny um get some therapy i know yep <laughs> gonna need therapy after that one because it's your best friend that your mom throws out and 
it's not like normal. So it's whatever. Mom, I'm not blaming you, you know, but I am. So don't touch my boobs. That's the story. Mom, mom, don't touch my boobs. That's the headline. Mom, don't touch my boobs. People would be like, what? What? You know, that would be like, that would be the biggest like catchphrase, like clickbait thing ever. Mom, don't touch my boobs. You press it. It's about a kid that stole his mom's baby shower boob and mom threw it in the garbage and he was devastated. That's it. That's it. Bye guys, we'll be about to leave. Thanks for coming in. I was so vulnerable, but just don't call it side. with that song this election is like i literally want to be at a dance and just fall in love with that song make some love you know what i'm saying
Alright, we're gonna try this here. Um. Cool to be caught in the right measure. It's a very, very, very good sign. Means that I love you. Mean. That's funny. Oh my gosh, guys. I should have never got the Bronco. I realized it. What I was thinking is since I blew up like with the 80s theme, what I should have done is bought an old car. I saw my buddy's Corvette, six grand for that Corvette. I could have bought a sick old car, drove around in old cars, wore old clothes like this. I could still do this. And then be that like eight kid from the from back in the day, like how sick would that be? Again and again, and when I ask you to explain, you say you gotta be cool to be kind in the right measure. Cool to be kind means that I love you. Baby, you gotta be cool. You gotta be cool to be kind. Cool to be kind in the right measure. It's a very, very, very good sign. Means that I love you. I actually gonna listen to that right when I get off this live. I'm gonna crank it, and I'm gonna drive around. I'm gonna smile at people. I'm gonna try to get good reactions from people. Have fun. All right, let's see one sec. Gotta be cool to be kind. Oh, in the right measure. It's a very, very, very good sign. Broncos are retro too, that's the thing there. Broncos are sick. My brother just cleaned my Bronco the other day, like spotless. I was like, me and Justin came in this morning, we're like, Whoa, my brother loves my Bronco like even more than I do, which is cute. So maybe in a couple of years, give it to him. I don't know. We'll see if he deserves it. We'll see. Baby. How was your brother? He's good. He's good. He's better. He's better.
but I can't get it out of my sight. Gonna talk to her tonight. Got the little mic. This would be a great to talk with this shirt too, right? And I'll even take the mic. And I'll be like this. I'll come up, cover the camera. That was a good song. Dun, dun, dun. She's gonna be somebody tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Shine tonight. Make your mind tonight. Gonna shine tonight, make her mine tonight. Love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Make your mind tonight. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Today, I need like two hours to myself. Two hours to myself. I think I'm just gonna go, chill on like a hill, and literally just lay down. I'm gonna lay down. Might have my own little picnic. I might do that today. Just because when I come on, you know, it's a, we have so much fun. I start feeling really good. And then I get a lot of anxiety and stuff. I hate it. Just because I always think about like everything. I'm just like, what if, what if, what if? You know? So, yeah, I'm going to go chill on the hill by myself, I think. And just chill. Just breathe. Listen to the nature. Think about random stuff. Maybe even read a book. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Make your mind tonight. And I got the driving range coming up. Oh yeah, Alex should be here in like an hour, which is nice. I still haven't went to the gym today. I was gonna go right before the live. Did you guys notice that I was tired this morning? I was telling Justin, I'm like, should I move the live? Because I'm feeling tired. Like, cause I kept setting my alarm, trying to wake up like 10 minutes, 10 minutes more, 10 minutes more. And then like, before you know it, I'm like, we have 30 minutes to go to the cafe. And I'm like, oh, like, I look tired, you know, like my friggin' eyes and stuff. And I, I was like, I don't want to be on camera when I look tired because then there's a bunch of edits and stuff, right? So I was like, fuck. Like, should I move it back a bit? But then I was like, nah, like, some people are, like, canceling plans for coffee with Whitey. You know what I mean? Like, not everyone wants lunch with Whitey. People love their coffee with Whitey. Some. Lots. So I kept doing it. Grinded through. It was good, though. It was a good live. Kind of regretted it throughout, though, when we started. When I started just, like, 
you know, mad, but I did need that a bit to wake up, I guess. I was just waking up and I was dealing with all this shit. I'm like, okay, you know, this needs to stop. Moral of the story, though, it ended up turning out really well today. Um, I've been enjoying it. I've been on for like a while. It's been like, I don't even know. Frank, it's been a while, though. I never really go on this long. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you guys are too. Da, 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 mm, mm. Two hours it's been. Wow. Everyone's saying they love the live, so I end it now before I say anything stupid. Or I just, you know, maybe I should end it on the best note in the world here. Or should I wait a little bit for Alex? I don't know. Should we play another song? Actually, I got one more song we could play. That's what I literally do a lot, eh? Like, sometimes I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, like, I did good. Like, hi, like take a two week break from social media after posting one viral hit. That's like the worst thing you can do, Will. Like you gotta keep posting. But uh, cause like, you know, you do good and then you just wanna stay on the good note. You're like, stay on the good note. But it's not real. Like you can't always just stay on a good note. You gotta, you know. I think the boys are here that we're gonna open the door. this really cool thing that I want to open in a sec. I got this really cool thing that I want to open in a sec. Cool thing that I want to open in a sec. Cool thing that I want to open in a sec. What the fuck is going on? I don't know what's on. Let me, let me check something. Let me just check something. You got some in my pocket right here for you. <laughs> a whole lot of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Vanilla venti, sweet cold foam was extra cold. <laughs> no, I... Yeah, I know. It's ordering nuts, bro. Yo, just... Yeah. Search it up on Reddit. Oh, really? Search it up on... <laughs> Very selfish. You know, they're not normal. They're not normally selfish people, but the act that they just did was very selfish. No, I'm just joking. We're all joking, but no, no, we're not. You know why? You go, you lock me. So first you leave the house, right? Without asking me, right? Without asking me, you leave the house. And then after you leave the house, you don't even lock the door. So like I'm upstairs, right, chilling in my room, and I come down and I see the door like still open, and I'm like, wait, is a hater in here? Is a fan in here? Am I gonna get killed? Am I like what's gonna, right? So they leave, don't even think about that, and then they come back, two coffees in their hand, and they didn't even give me a coffee now that is something i would do so i can't blame him i would i would say you know what justin's on live let's grab our coffees he can grab one later it's whatever so whatever we're not mad at him it's, it's over i just had to had to talk out loud you know what i mean but we're good they're good <clears throat> Yeah, I do that. Oh, 
I just saw a nice red Corvette. Make your mind tonight. Boss. I know. And I don't like being the boss. It's weird. But I think as you start getting older, you kind of like being the boss. It's like, yeah, do what I say. Okay. Do what I freaking say. All right? Um, but no, my whole life, I never wanted to be the boss. I was always like, yo, I just want to be like, like vice president, you know? So I can just like, I'm still special doing all the work, but I don't have to like make the big like boss decisions. Cause like everyone like, cause I was like, mom, everyone looks as like a boss is like a dick. And she's like, that's not true. You know how many bosses are actually really good. My dad was a boss and I'm like, I know, but then like a lot, of, they have to make the decisions, you know? And I guess that's my problem, not wanting to make my own decisions. It was, it, ha it was a problem of mine my whole life and I'm trying to fix it now. And little problems turn into big problems, I tell you. <laughs> so wake the fuck up. Now. What were we just talking about? Before the boss. Oh, okay, we're good. I got way too deep there. You see, that's my problem, way too deep. We were on a good note, and then I freaking just started going way too deep. <clears throat> Lovers. Yes, I need my coffee. Lovers in a dangerous time. Deep thinker. Oh, yeah, Frank, deep thinker. I say my lovers in a dangerous time. If your love's a crime. You can get $300 in Amazon gift cards. Start by opening a TD Unlimited checking account. With the TD MySpend app, you can track spending and savings points. So you know if you've got this. TD, ready to help you move forward. Can you tell us what the IG store with the bug? Okay, so. So I guess you guys kind of do deserve, well, you do, an explanation. So I'll do like random mysterious kind of things on my Instagram, as you guys noticed. I'll post like random things and like people get really deep into it and they're like, yo, and I'm like, you know what? It could mean that. I don't even know what it means. I just kind of find something that I like and like little things have meaning. So like that book, like a knight, how to become a knight was like me going through this journey, trying to be a knight. And then it, and then with the day going on, it was a rainy day. So I put it in the rain. And then I also put the, that rock that said courage because I had a lot, I had to take a lot of courage that day to become the night that I want to be. And it's a rainy day. So all the emotions together. And then you put a little bit of music maybe. And sometimes they just hit, you know, like the pictures that you don't even know what it is, but it has emotion and it just hits you. So it's like kind of feels sick, especially when people are like, yo, I like it. Um, a lot of people are like, a lot of people don't like they're like, what is this? Um, but I'm not saying I'm an artist. I'm just trying because maybe I am, you know, maybe I actually am so good at like finding like good things to like feel emotion. I don't know. I'm just going to keep trying. You know what I'm saying, man? All right. But yeah, so did I read the book? No. A lot of people are saying the book's really good. I did not read the book. I used it for a picture, but I really like the look of the book and the emerald green and I do want to read it. I'll do one creative thing a day. I'm gonna try to think of one today. I'm a magician.
Oh, thanks. But I do have a problem. So when I tell you to give me a coffee and you guys give me a small coffee, do you think I'm a small guy? Like, no, because I, I, I relate it to my biceps, right? That's well, medium. It's, so, grande. You, you, it's grande, actually. Oh, so large. So grande. Biceps, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> I'm almost wrapping up here. I think Alex wants to hit the range, eh? What? Might hit the range with Alex. Oh, we got a meeting at one. Oh yeah, I got a meeting at one. Yeah. And then I'll do it after maybe? You wanna come maybe? Well, no, I can't come after. I got stuff I gotta get done, but... Do you? Yeah, it's probably about to do that. Alright, bro. So no more of this. A lot more peace of mind. So peaceful. So get ready to. Very insulting to my biceps. <sighs> makes my hand look small. Yeah, everything makes my hand like literally. Look at that. It's supposed to be a grande. Grande. I can't even see grande. How the. Grande, there's nothing. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not, yeah, you know, unless some like yeah. God damn. It's brutal. <clears throat> what drink? It's an iced coffee, but it's very strong. It's not my. Uh, they don't know what I want. I get 
an extra sweet vanilla venti with extra sweet cold foam and a sprinkle drizzle of caramel and then add some sweet cold brew with a little bit of salted just all that i actually have to pull up my phone it's in my notes and i read like a paragraph and they're like what no i'm kidding they're like yeah for sure i'm like perfect <laughs> it's like embarrassing it's like awkward because like you go up to the window and you're like can i get a Vanilla venti cold brew with extra sweet cold foam and with three sprinkles of caramel. I'm like, did you get that? He's like, sorry, can you just repeat the last three? Um, sweet cold. Yeah, it's just, it's just. No, Justin's not doing that. <laughs> just like I feel like I got all the time in the world. I'll go there, friggin' order my freaking paragraph drink, sit there and drive through, make some TikToks. You know, these guys are like on the run. Like they're just like quick little strong coffee. <laughs> Next, let's go. Lovers. Tweet it to us. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll get that out there. You'd suit a nose ring. Oh, that's pretty wicked. I would put like a fake one for like a day for fun, like just different, like with rings and stuff, but. Dangerous. I, I knew not a lot of people would like that. Honestly, like, I'm not a big fan of earrings. I wouldn't get a nose ring, but um, I know what the person means because the outfit that I'm wearing right now would look sick with like like jewelry. I think the earrings and stuff. <laughs> Maybe like a like a face tattoo. Just my old boob right here. Love is in a dangerous time. Open y'all. No, I'm just joking. No, I wouldn't. I don't even think I'd get a tattoo yet. But I've been like thinking of it. Like, I thought about, like, it'd be sick on your sleeve if you had, like, like an octopus coming out your sleeve. Kind of reaches on your hand a bit. Like, I like hand tattoos, but the only thing is if I ever want to get a normal job, which I don't think I ever will. I think I'll always be, like, a creator um, or, like, a model, an actor. But, but, yeah, I think hand tattoos are sick. Especially with big hands because it kind of covers it a bit, you know? Like, even putting a spider or something. But yeah, the only thing is, like, hand tattoos, if you ever get a real job, I don't think they like that. Like, business. Johnny Depp, he has his hand tattoo. Model or actor, both. Because if, if I'm an actor, then I want to still be a model because I want to be like that hot actor that does modeling, big modeling gigs. And then, yeah. But if acting like doesn't work out, which I really believe it will, like I really want it to, I think modeling will always be in my life. I think I'll always do modeling. But... Acting's like more of like something to like push for, so it's really cool because shows more like my personality side. Um, modeling you can too, but you know, so
BRB actually Yo Alex Yo Alex Yeah Um Someone just asked about the meet and greet. Just so everyone knows, there was no meet and greet planned at all. And that is a fact. No meet and greet planned. I got ambushed by fans, which was okay. It was a good time. It was good seeing them. But there was no meet and greet. When there is a meet and greet, we will let everyone know on Twitter, um, on live, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna make them really professional. We're gonna make them good. We got some good ideas, all right? So for people who are concerned, no, you did not miss a meet and greet. There will be, an, there will be one coming up, I think. Not another one. Well, we yeah, another one, because we've had two. And you will know about it, all right? All right, all right, all right. Now kiss my nipple. Mm -hmm. no. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And also, when I say ambushed, I don't mean ambushed. It's in a bad way, just like. in a bad way, just like, I mean, like a Fuck. Oops. Shoot. Oh, what's that song called? By NLE. By NLE? Yeah. What? Avalanche. Avalanche? Yeah. How do you know it? <laughs> Dude, the only thing is it might have swear words, eh? Oh, it does. Does it? Bro, it's NLE talk. <laughs> I know, but I want to play it so bad. Actually, yeah, no, it's it's not okay. Because it says my B is average. Dun, 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 dun. Like, he's too hardcore, that guy.